Welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I am Connor Williams and we're back with another one of our 24-7 news report videos. Uh, as always, we start with the headline news and the headline news this evening is that Everton are interested in taking Manchester United winger Anthony Alanga on loan. Uh, the arrival of Ajax's Anthony at Manchester United could mean Alanga leaves on loan this season. Let's come by the male sport. Um I mean, we do need depth in that area. Uh, I actually really like Alanga. I think from what I've seen of him at Manchester United, he's very, very good. I heard he had a good game against Liverpool. Um, but even before that last season, when he was getting his time, I really like him. Uh, I like what I saw from him. He's a hungry lad. Um, got a bit of pace about him. Um, yeah, I like him. I, I wouldn't mind him on loan. Um, I think he just will add depth. I don't think he'll be a start for us. He'll just add depth. We could get an option to buy, maybe, but I don't think we will. I think United see a big future in the kid as well. So it'll just be a matter of filling out the depth, which we need. We need, to be honest. It's it's a bit grim that we're, you know, having to loan youngsters to make up for it, but that's the state we're in. Um, and this won't be our depth won't be fixed in one window. This is unfortunately we need a big rebuild at Everton um of young players, which is what the club are trying to do. Um, but it's not gonna it's not gonna be done in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day. So yeah, unfortunate, but alas, that's the way of the world, I suppose, folks. So yeah, Alanga though, really do like him, wouldn't mind him on loan. If we could get an option to bid, uh, an option to buy just in case he comes good, that'd be nice. Uh, we also have the news that Everton are progressing with talks with Ren striker Siru Garassi. French officials have travelled to England for talks to try and finalise the deal. That's come by Graham Bailey. Um yeah, well, uh, the news broke that Batshuayi wasn't coming because apparently he doesn't see how he'd fit Lampard's system. Um, realistically, guys, if we're going to play lob it into the top, let the man hold up the ball and play the wingers through, Garassi isn't going to get you loads of goals, but he can do that um, until Calvert-Lewin's back at least, which is all he's going to be. I hope this is in on a loan deal. I don't want this to be a, a transfer deal. But um, he will he will do a job that's needed of him. He's not gonna. I'm not gonna say he's brilliant. He will be a bit, bit of a cart horse. But he will do what's needed. If we get some players to build off him, run off him, maybe that'd be a little bit better. But don't expect him to be, you know, getting goals galore this season if we get him. Carrying on with France and the players in French in France, PSG would allow Idris Gueye to leave on a free to Sports in Lisbon or Porto, who are interested in him. For Everton, though, they're asking for a transfer fee that comes from Fabrice Hawkins. Um, who is a writer for RMT Sport. That's just a bit naughty, isn't it? That is just a bit naughty. Um, but we leave ourselves in this position, don't we? People know we're desperate and we'll throw money at anything. So now PSG are trying to push their luck. Uh, it is naughty, but when you've got a reputation like ours for throwing money at it, there's no surprise really, is there, um, that clubs are trying to be a bit cheeky with getting more money. Um, we also have some news now that... Everton have launched a formal bid for Blackburn striker Ben Bereton Diaz and could sign Manchester United's midfielder James Garner. Um, this has come from Gary Jacob, who is a sports reporter for The Times. Um, very, very um, interesting. These two were linked last week and the rumours haven't died off. Garner, I've, I've not seen an awful lot of him, but he's um, a defensive midfielder, but he's more of a deep line playmaker. Will play more progressive passes than the likes of Idris Agway will. We need playmakers in this team. We need defensive stability still. A deep line playmaker seems to be a clever way to go. How much of an ability Garner has is still yet to be seen from me. Um, I didn't watch a lot of the games he played last season, but yeah, very, very interesting. Um, yeah, very interesting. As for Beres and Diaz, um, we'll get on to him in just a little bit. I'll cover him a little bit more in a little bit because that's not the last Beres and Diaz news. He does link up with somebody else that we've got a little bit later on. Um, but next we have that Andre Gomez is an option for Roma to replace the injured Genie Wanyaldum. Gomez is the fourth on the list of options for Roma. Everton are wanting to sell the midfielder. Roma could get him potentially cheap or on loan. That's come from Correo della Sport. Just let him go on on the cheap on the cheap. If if they say one point five mil, two mil, let him go. Let him go. Uh, he's not got a future at Everton. What's the point in holding out? Don't want a loan because by the time the loan finishes, they'll click on that they don't want him and send him back. Just let him go. I'm surprised Mourinho is even looking at him. Didn't have him down as a Mourinho type of player. Um, 
But yeah, just try and sell him for any price, Everton, because no one else will loan him. Mourinho will go, oh God, I don't want him actually. And he'll come back and we'll be stuck with him next season as well. Uh, fully just let him go for however cheap. Uh, we also have that Chelsea are waiting for Everton chairman Bill Kenwright to accept the bid to sign Anthony Gordon. Chelsea have bid 50 million plus 10 million in add ons for the winger. That's come from the Telegraph. Well, that's signed, is um, signed, sealed, and delivered, isn't it? So I think 50 million plus 10 million in add ons is too good to turn down. And as much as I like Gordon, I've seen a lot of Everton fans say the same. That is just too good to turn down. Too good. He's not worth that, in my opinion. I like him, but he's not worth that. Everyone's saying sell, 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 because that's too good. It's now on the chairman. There were reports that Everton didn't want to sell because they didn't want to upset the fans. That could be a Bill Kenwright thing. I think if we don't sell Gordon for 60 million, then I think that's going to go against him uh, in the fan base. Um, personally, 60 million is a lot of money that we could just invest in so many better options. Um, I personally would sell him, and I like Anthony Gordon. I'm not caught, you know, I'm not going to dig him out. I do like him. I just think that's too good to turn down, um, in all honesty. Uh, next, we have the Everton want to sign a forward this transfer window, and one target is striker Shea Adams. Southampton value Adams up to 25 million. That's come from Sky Sports News. Um, nice and obvious there, isn't it? Everton want to sign a forward. I'd say we need to sign more than just one. Um, before I get into Shea Adams, there are a bit more. Ralph Hassan, who told the Southampton manager, said he's our player and we definitely won't sell him. Ironically, this is the most Everton thing ever. When we were first linked, I was like, Che Adams, I, I wasn't keen on it. And I was like, you know, I don't see him on the score sheet an awful lot. Southampton have lost Brozier. Why would they want to sell him? And then in the most Everton turn of events, his form automatically is kicked up. He scored the other day in the league. He scored twice in the Carabao Cup the other night. It's the most Everton thing, isn't it? You get a one link with a play and you're like, oh, I'm not too convinced about him. And then he goes on and scores five. And then the team that you want to buy him off goes, well, no, we're not selling him now. He's just his form. It's the most Everton thing ever, isn't it? Um, but yeah, Ralph Hasnett says that's a no-go. Then we had Fabrizio Romano saying that Everton were interested in Southampton striker Shea Adams, um, but are now focusing on transfer targets like Blackburn striker Ben Bereton diaz um, which I will now get into Ben Bereton diaz I like it. I've got a friend who's a Blackburn fan, said he's good as a striker, but he can play as a left forward. If we got Garassi, for example, this is what I was going to say. He holds the ball up probably a little bit better than Rondon. He's a bit taller, plays it down. You've got Diaz running. He'll probably be the Gordon replacement running in off him. Can play up front if we need him. Calvert-Lewin will come back and link up beautifully as well. Then you've got McNeil. Who, I mean, if Diaz is a left forward, left winger, I don't know where McNeil plays, but get McNeil as well as crossing ability. Um, and then obviously you've got the pace of Damari Gray. Uh, it just adds a little bit more depth for us, and he's a good player. Um, McNeil's crossing ability, I would hope, um, when it's or Calvert Lewin's back, and if we have a bigger striker than Rondon, we'll see better, more assists from him. Um, he's having a tough time of it as of late. Um, I'm hoping he does come good, though. Um, we also have um, that Manchester United are interested in signing Everton goalkeeper Asmir Begovic, but Everton are not willing to let him go with no obvious replacement. That's come from Alex Crook. Yeah, sensible, really. Not got Lonergan's not going to do a job any other time. I'd say sell him. Um, my faith in Begovic isn't at the highest, but we sell him and Pickford gets injured. And what do we do then? It's either Lonergan or we stick a, ch a kid in there that's not ready. Um, so I think it's probably just best to leave Begovic there, isn't he? And finally, we have the Wolves are interested to open uh, a set to open talks with the representatives of Ajax midfielder Mohamed Kudus uh, to sign a Ghana international on a season long loan. That's according to Football Ghana. Did a video um, with Juan from I think it's Let's Talk Ajax or We Talk Ajax, um, which I think might be out on the channel in the next couple of days. Um, really, really good scout report on him. Um, said that Kudus has been a bit injured, so his time in Ajax is a bit tough to judge. Um, all different injuries and all caused by situational events. So he's not injury prone in the fact that he's got a dodgy left knee that it picks up every year. It's more 
he had like an ankle injury due to a tackle, then a knee injury due to something else, then a calf injury. So they're not the same injury and they're not the same leg, but they are, and they're caused by situations as well. Um, so he just unlucky. Unlucky is the word I described to Juan. Um, but apparently he's really good, um, fast, powerful, good when being pressed, can turn his body quickly. Um, Juan said he's a bit like a Wobi now, but he um, is a lot better at being pressured and in closer spaces than a Wobi, um, which was interesting because I think if we sign him, he probably will play that Awobi role. So, yeah, um, but it looks like we're about to be beaten to that by Wolves, um, who obviously got rid of Morgan Gibbs-White. So maybe they see that as a Morgan Gibbs-White replacement for now. Um, but that's all we've got time for. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below your thoughts on anything I've spoken about. Garassi, give me your feelings on that. Anthony Gordon and that being at Bill Kenwright's hands. If you were Kenwright, would you sell? Would you not? Kuda, so you've got to miss out on him. Um, che Adams or Benetton Diaz, let me know which one you would prefer as well. Um, and Alanga, do you like Alanga? I, I like him alone, seems okay. Um, we do need depth there. But yeah, let me know all that down below and I'll see you guys very soon.